All right, so growing up in the Midwest, my tolerance of spicy food has always been on the level of ketchup is hot. Okay, so that's been kind of the way I've operated for my entire life. But I've tried to start, as I've gotten older, eating a little bit spicier and a little bit spicier. Still probably nowhere near what people can tolerate. And to me, it's not about tolerating something that's on the order of eating a Carolina Reaper pepper um, by itself. That's not what I don't have any intentions of trying to see how hot I can get. But I do want to try to see what I find tasteful, what actually is still hot but good. So what I did is I ended up buying a bunch of these packy chips. I didn't get the one chip challenge thing. They didn't have any, and plus I think that would have been way over my tolerance anyway. But what I did do is I got five of these bags. They're all different levels of hotness where it goes not so hot up to ghost pepper really hot. And I don't know if I'm going to get there. So my idea is to take one of these out of each bag and eat it. I do have milk here just in case. And if it does get to be too hot at one of these points, I'm just going to stop. I'm not going to try to be a tough person and, and eat all of them. So we're going to start with the first one. And this this is mucho nacho cheese. Yeah. So we get a nice one. It looks like, it looks like a Dorito. And it tastes like a Dorito, too. That one is not hot, so I'm not surprised that that has absolutely no, like, hotness at all whatsoever. Yep. So that one was fine. This next one, it was actually pretty good, by the way, so I'm not trying to get a sponsorship from Packy, but that was actually a good chip. All right, this one is Zesty Salsa Verde. Kinda hot. Find a nice big one out of here. That's not. All right, we'll do this one. Okay. It's got a little bit more of a lime taste, I think. You can hear my son over there is trying the nacho cheese one. If you hear the crunching in the background, not a lot of heat. Really didn't notice anything. Um, it's good though. I like it. All right. I am going to just take a little sip just because I want the flavor, you know, cleanse the palate, so to speak. The next one is jalapeno tropicale. I think that's what you call it. And this one is hot on the corner. Okay? So I actually have a scale on the back, by the way, of not hot, kind of hot, hot, super hot, and freaking hot, which is what that is. All right, so we'll give this one a whirl. There we go. I do like jalapenos, so. Good. So far, all three of them have been good. Not, not hot yet. Not, not a lot of heat, at least of what I'm tasting. So, all right, we're moving on to the fourth one. We'll give this one a whirl. This is Fiery Chili Limon, Limon, I don't know, it's the accent on the O. This is super hot. Isn't there a video game called Super Hot? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. A little spicy, a little heat, not too much, but definitely a little bit more than the other ones. All four, by the way, are good. So I will post a picture, by the way, that I took of the box. I miscalculated just how many damn bags I got. It's like this huge box of three of three of each, so we got 15 bags of these. So I'm glad that I like at least these four because I'll eat these for months now. So I'm good that way. All right. We're on to the last one. Make sure that I got the palette there. 
This one is the one I'm concerned about. <laughs> this is the ghost pepper one. The hottest thing I've ever think I've ever eaten was at a friend of mine's that has this New Year's Eve party. One of the people that come over that comes over does this um, ga- nice queso. Show? Queso. He makes queso. Oh, I forgot the word queso, but I think he uses Thai peppers in that. And I would I eat that and eat that, and then my wife laughs at me because you know I'm just starting to sweat a little bit. But it's good. I like it. Like I can still feel a little bit of my tongue for these. Okay. So, this is the big one. This is the one that might be painful. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So this is not a one chip challenge because the, the, again, the one chips are the ones that are like just doused in Carolina Reaper pepper flakes, and that would be extreme. This might be a little bit too much for me. We'll see. So here we go. A little bit more heat than the other ones, yeah. It's actually, oddly, it's a little bit blander than these other ones. There's definitely more of a after bite, <laughs> but not bad, not bad. I'm surprised at myself. I, I would, I would have thought ghost pepper infused chips would actually have knocked me sideways, but not bad. So. Oh. Maybe, maybe at some point in my life, I will get the one chip, even though my wife would, is already rolling her eyes behind the camera by me saying that. But, oh, if you would try, my, I'm putting yeah, my wife. Yeah, you should try. If my wife tried, she would be dying. There's, you, you could not take this. There's Do no it. way. Do it more. You want to try it? I can I'll try, try it. it from the beginning to the end. Well, wait, wait. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll stop with the video. So she, okay. we'll see if she tries it. Um, but, it's definitely sticking. I mean, I can actually feel Don't a little bit more me. heat than I expect. Now my son's trying the ghost pepper. So. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Yeah, it kicks in after, too. So, I will say this. All the chips were good. They all had the different flavors. They all tasted good. So, I'm pretty happy that I got these. So, if you want to try a good chip and not die like my son is right now... <laughs> Hacky chips are actually good chips. So, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later. All right, my son suggested I do this afterwards, and I will admit the ghost pepper one is sticking. It's still on my tongue. It's still kind of warm, and my wife said she can see the the sweat on my forehead and my bald head. So, yeah, it's got more kick to it. It just wasn't apparent right away. But I'm not, like, dying. It's not like... I feel like I'm like profusely sweating or snot coming out of my nose. So, but yeah, it is warm. It uh, it lingers. So I will admit that.